Hello and welcome to the SSF Romcast week six. I am Jessica, which you should know by now. I like the fantasy, I read the fantasy, I read the sci-fi sometimes and the paranormal <laughs> and I try to write it. Hi, I'm Emma. Yeah, you should probably know that too. I noticed on last week's episode when you left that bit for me to fill in my name and I eventually said it but my microphone didn't catch it. So it just looks like I didn't even know my name. I do know it. Mama. But Mama. <laughs> yeah, and I do all the same stuff. And we're yes. here on the last episode of the last one. season two already. Mm. It's been quick. But just as we're getting our act together and we know what we're doing. <laughs> Stopped again? Sort of. Sort <laughs> of. Yeah. I will say, I'm, I'm like, I'm ready to read all of the other books now. And we've been doing the, the podcast reading. I'm like, the TBR part has been slowly yeah, growing. Bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> Get that for when we finish, for when we finish, for when we finish. And it's like, oh, now I have 30 books to read. I have my first one. I have the Easter Bunny one on the top of my list to have a browser because oh, it shouldn't take long. Yeah. So thank you for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. But yes, we digress. So, yeah. um, yeah, so we're here telling you about our next book. So we're linking from last week, which was, I did write it down, The Second Star to the Left by Megan Van Dyke. And we are linking with retellings because that was Peter Pan, if you don't get that from the title, uh, with a little bit of Pirates of the Caribbean thrown in there. And this week we are doing A Ruin of Roses by K.F. Breen. Yeah, which is, well, I, you'll be able to tell once I read mm. the blurb what that's all about. So Indeed. here we go. I could save him, but he would ruin me. The beast, the creature that stalks the forbidden wood, the dragon prince. He has suffered a fate worse than death. We all have. What's up? You're full of, you're flapping at me. What's that mean? Beast, the dragon. The dragon. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't look up. No, I've ruined it. Where did I get to? Let's start again. A curse put upon us all by the Mad King. I want to see the actions for that. Yep. <laughs> the Mad King. Yeah, um. we are a kingdom locked in time. Shifters unable to feel our animals, stuck here by a deal between the late king and a demon who seeks our destruction. The only one keeping this kingdom alive is Nathan. We're going to call it. We're going to call him Nathan. Nathan. We're going to. It, it's kind of. We think maybe Nathan, but Nathan. yeah, Nathan. 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 Yeah, Nathan. The golden prince to a stolen throne. The last dragon shifter. He's our hope. He's my nightmare. When he catches me trespassing in the forbidden wood, he doesn't punish me with death as he's entitled. He takes me instead, forces me back to the castle as his prisoner, seeks to use me. Apparently, I can save him. I can save the whole forgotten kingdom, locked away by the demon king's power. But it would mean taming the monster beneath his skin. It would mean giving myself to him. It would mean my ruin. Put it though. Would it? Would it yeah. Apparently, it mm. would. Apparently. Apparently. So, yes, we have a beastie prince. Yes. And a, a heroine who can unlock her curse. So, mm. it's that Beauty and the Beast we tell Yeah, it's got to be done. There are many. Are we ready to get yes. into it? Yes, we are indeed. Let's go. want to start with the thing that i love we've got a prologue and i love yeah. the prologue oh i have one thing to say first <gasps> uh, we i think we briefly discussed this in that this is the this is the first book in a series of four and it's the mm -hmm. only one we've talked about on the season so far where the story and the romance arc is a continuation through the series yes so you don't get it all wrapped up in the first book no, Just, there is like a know. happy ish for now at the end. Yeah. So, and also, and I think the... that blurb is kind of to do with the series. And the yeah, it is encompassing of, the of all. Retelling. Yeah, I think. Yeah. So, prologue. Yeah, I know you like prologue. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, I'm a simple creature. I like cinnamon in my coffee and prologues in my book. Yeah. So, yeah. So um, I know, yeah, even I know people don't like prologues and they don't, they don't like prologues going how this one is, because this is actually a dream. Dream too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. Well, I, it happens and it's then kind she of wakes up and she's yeah. been re-remembering it as a, yeah. as a dream. But so it's I almost think... like she wrote chapter one. Yeah. 
I've had it, but they just thought, oh, I'll make that the program. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. But I think any any writing course I've been on would probably go, oh, here's my first chapter. And they'd go, no. <laughs> I like it. I love it. So ignore those writing you know, people. I are made to be broken. Yes. Yeah. And that's yeah. just what we'll do. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we start with Finley, who is replaying this memory in the Forbidden Forest that was mentioned yeah. in the blib blib blib. Yeah. And she's being chased by something. Um, yeah. You can all imagine what that is. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, she wakes up. We get the gist in the first few pages that where she lives, it's not actually a great place. Not just the forest, but her village yeah. and everything that's going on in the surrounding areas. And that life has just not been great for a yeah. long time now. Mm-hmm. So she's been, uh, she's running from the forest because she's been in there to steal these leaves from a field with this plant called the yes. Everlast plant Indeed. um which they do have a little bit of they can grow it a tiny bit in their village but it, it has to it's be, a finicky um, bugger it's a really yeah really it's a different. bitch of a plant if you can't <laughs> keep plants alive the Everlast is just like the worst and never, it never happened I look at a plant and it dies <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, this one imagine the the, the coo with coo coo yeah. Oh, yeah. we love you yeah <laughs> It's it's a book of a plant, which it saves people, so it kind of has to be. That's it. She's learnt from her nana, I think. Yes, it is. So it's back kind in, in the prologue, through. yeah, there's um part of this curse that is trapping um the shifters into their bodies, so they can't shift anymore and have mm. their animals. It has this side effect of that it makes them ill and they die of a cough <laughs> it seems like you know it's like history stuff no i know it's like a weakness but do you know what i mean it's yes like, yeah the cough thing. is the thing that gets yeah. them i understand because yeah. i have leftover covid cough so i'm always like that <laughs> in the evenings i'm like, <laughs> I feel like i feel like a little victorian girl <laughs> have you got like a lace hanky as well <laughs> i'll get one now i'm gonna get one <laughs> i'm gonna see yeah we're definitely gonna find you one yeah with little initials on it yeah. <gasps> embroidered in the corner embroidered one of the kids to go yeah so sweet <laughs> we, <laughs> then we're digressing again um yeah so she's gone to steal more of this plant because her nana's ailing from this illness um and yeah they need it but it's in the forbidden wood which is the land where the beast roams yes um, yeah but she, it surrounds the other bits yeah and she's what we said she's 14 isn't she plucky yes. plucky finley at 14 yes. yeah oh God. 14 year old jessica wouldn't have been doing that yeah she could just hear him growling in the background yeah, sort of lurking and dun, 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 dun. but doesn't catch her because she went no. up in her own bed chapter one was, like you say from, yeah nine years later yeah from a from a dream of it um remembering it and but things have moved along and they're yeah. even worse <laughs> so yeah so nana is no longer here and oh. instead of the sick bed holding her it now holds her dad yeah so, her mum's gone too yes there's and four there kids are, yeah. yeah is um, she the old she's the second <clears throat> oldest isn't she I think. Oldest. brother's brother's oldest and there's two yeah. younger ones so there's mm-hmm. the four of them trying to survive in this land which you know without not only the curse just everything is blighted because of it i think it's kind of a hidden place isn't it so people seem to have forgotten it's there so they can't get in they can't get out Mm -hmm. and it's just yeah the entire place is horrendous yeah there's like i think there's mention of like six different villages that are part of the kingdom but they can't go into the other villages and they've had people when the curse was first put on they tried to leave the kingdom and they couldn't It, it like struck them down um so that's it. They're stuck in the village and the village is not exactly progressing because of it. No. Um, and yeah, loads of the elders are dying because yeah. they're... Yeah, still, it's like an yeah. age thing, isn't it? It's just as soon as they yeah. sort of reach a certain age, their body just declines. Yeah, they start to start to go. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, so the plant is not growing in her garden, even though she's kind of learned how to tend it. Like It has yeah. to be done at night and it has to be done. You can't touch it too much. and. Yeah. There's just so many things that cause problems with it. Mm-hmm. So the stock she has is just gone. So she's got to mm-hmm. go back. Yeah, she's forest. she's managed to make this elixir that like will prolong people a bit longer. Um, but her brother is like, he's getting to the point where he's saying that is it even kind 
to keep doing yeah, to keep, this, to keep doing drawing it. their life out with their dad because he's just going to continue suffering and the younger siblings are watching him suffer and stuff mm. um but she's like i'll i'll be able to do it i just need to get some more because they're i think it's winter they're not quite into spring are they no. and she just needs some more to tide them through to the springtime um yeah and she's got a she's got to get some more from the field Mm -hmm. go back where that beastie was yes so she sort of uh, creeps out at night and it's not just the beast that's in this forest it's full of all sorts of nasties yeah this is it the demon king that put this curse on he's also got his minions running around doing Mm -hmm. all sorts in the forest and they're in the village too yeah um yeah and they haven't seen anyone all the nobility seem to get killed off yeah shortly after the the curse came down and they're not quite sure why what the bargain was between the the king that died and the demon king Mm. but yeah and the the Mm. prince that was in the village he's just disappeared they think he's just upped and offed because yeah they think he left to go marry a fairy (laughs) i think later on she uh she she thinks about that um because she remembers him as this very looping around yeah wonderful golden dragon going overhead um yeah so she decides to do that go go back get some more and there's like there's this tree that she goes past that's shivering oh, the, the, the silver birch <laughs> yeah and an owl that keeps going nuts when she goes yeah. near it it's like, uh, not. She's like it's really giving her away that she's mm. there and that she's going into this place and she can hear this kind of cry in the background yeah this one's a horrible one isn't yeah, it yeah yeah it's nasty it's like it's like when you wake up in the night and fox cubs are screaming and yeah. for a minute they sound like babies don't they you're yeah. like oh, oh, is it the children yeah. no it's not it's fine it's outside. yeah it's, an animal. it's it's like a mimicky thing isn't it so yeah. It, it can yeah i think it does an older person's voice or something as well at some point i remember yeah, reading I think so then it's yeah. like a crying thing yeah for help she's, yeah she's trying to get away um go go undercover and the tree and the owl aren't helping frankly (laughs) um yeah but she also gets this like waft of this smell and this magic that comes over her and she thinks it's an incubus incubus, yeah because it makes basically gives her the horn as well which is not um it's it's not not the what you need really when you're looking through the scary forest in the middle of the night and out of context yeah Yeah, definitely um and she ends up she she's she ends up almost being caught by this this demon what comes out it's like a bird type animal thing isn't it i don't know um i think it's like your mind can fill in the horror gaps (laughs) a lot of like beasties in the woods aren't they um but then the beast comes in and is just like so fast and whoosh gone um which gives her the opportunity to like run Hi, but, yeah she stood with a pen knife isn't she trying to like i could just yeah. imagine you know this tiny little knife and there's a creature somewhere she can't see it and then this other rustling starts up yeah he comes in front takes the other creature out and she's like jesus and just drops everything and goes i've had um i've got a few moments in this book but particularly the beginning bit of the book that we like did the plot notes in like mm. so just before she goes to to get out of there because she's got the back she did get the other last leaves yes and stuff. she did manage yeah. that um she just sees him in the trees like the tops of the trees really high up doesn't she like she gets a glimpse yes of the beast there before she goes and i just there's just a few moments of it a very jurassic park to me <laughs> very like t-rex you know like with that bit where they're stuck in the car it's all quiet and you just see the like the arm <laughs> going yeah. on the thing and then later on i'll i'll tell you the other bits that come up okay. and i just got stuck in my head i was, I was gonna say are you on about t-rex. the window <laughs> and the eye as well yeah that yeah. was exactly it later on it's totally it's just like yeah. this big eye staring at, it's at the window okay yeah i see what you yeah. mean yeah 
<laughs> Nobody's eating anybody off a toilet, though. No, because I didn't like that bit in the film. No, it didn't quite happen. That was another moment which we'll get to. Kind yeah, of, okay. I think we're sort of yeah, yeah, a bit later wra wrapping up near, near the end -ish of this this plot bit. Yeah, this little bit <laughs> that we're just going on about. Yeah, so yeah. um, yeah, she gets home and she manages to sort the bits and pieces out, mm -hmm. and yeah, we've kind of got. Yeah, we hear a bit more of the plot bits and pieces with um, she goes back and she sorts out with the brother the next day. Yeah. And they've got to go to the village and mm -hmm. there's not much money. So they've got to try and get what they can. Yeah. And she um, ends up going to the blacksmith. Have I missed a yeah. bit? Is that what you're going to tell me? Um, it was only the bit because the discussion her and her brother have is he doesn't want to go to the village because there's no. this woman that there's likes him. a woman. Him. Oh, he's of age, isn't he? Yeah. Of courting and marrying age. But it gives you a little bit of insight between like this thing called true mates. And they yes. don't even know whether that's something that really oh, happens. Yes. I was going to bring because... it up in a minute. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Got okay. You got distracted. Um yeah, because they because all the elders are dying and they don't really have a lot of books in their library. There's another boot in the beast moment. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, they've they've not got anything much written down. They're losing their oral history of everything. So they don't even know if it's true. But the true mate thing is supposedly when they come of age, like you said, they should they could possibly find another person, but they have to have like the same animal yes. and be roughly the same age and roughly the same kind of power, level yes. of power. But, yes. <clears throat> you cannot have two dominant or not. Yeah. Which is quite different in terms of gene pools because normally you try and yeah. find balance, don't you? It's like... Yeah, if you were if you were a crocodile who is quite big and powerful, you wouldn't want you wouldn't want a T Rex. You'd want something a little bit yeah. meeker, like a deer. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Right. Or I suppose maybe maybe that would go wrong with animals. <laughs> you know, maybe it's person dependent. Maybe fluffy I'm... bunny and <laughs> the T Rex. Yeah, I. Might not I... Work out. I know some T-Rex and some pterodactyls who are together, so maybe that does work. I am not. I would not Blame. deal well with a T-Rex. <laughs> well, just two people who are kind of very alpha oh, okay. and big. And, I was yeah. like, what? One's who got wings. Know? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's just because it's the only dinosaur I could think of that I could say. Yeah. Brachiosaurus, Brontius. I don't know. My mm. kids don't do dinosaurs. They do LOLs. I'd rather they did dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. We have got to have a tiny bit of dinosaur time with them, a, a fleeting moment, but yeah, then it's, it's all yeah. LOLs and yeah. pick me pops and stuff now. <laughs> yeah, Polly Pockets and oh, mm -hmm. God, we digress once more. But yes, so there's the true mates, which is difficult yeah. for them because none of them, because of the curse, know what their animal yeah. is. So yeah, you're not. It's gonna be tricky to find your own animal, especially Isn't when you it? don't know what it is. Yeah. So, yeah, so they, it's kind of, they don't even, it's her turn to go to the village. So she goes, chats to the blacksmith. There was a woman who was, I can't remember what oh, her name was, but she didn't know. I don't know. Name. Oh, my word. I'll read it in my notes, but there was a name and it made yeah. me giggle. Something Rita, Devious Rita. <laughs> and it was Rita. like, imagine that as your nickname. I would love that. <laughs> that would be Not good. to my face, but there's Devious yeah. Jess. <laughs> I think deviant Rita would have been more like it. <laughs> she's like she's like just trying to get a rise out of things yeah, by telling her the about pot. yeah about all of the happenings that go on after mm -hmm. dark when the Incubus yes. are around corrupting everybody. But this is it, yeah. All the young maidens are being deflowered by these demons yeah. who creep through their windows and stuff. Yeah. That uh, sounds I like think a that's lovely story. Probably another thing to point out about this book is it is it is leaning more towards the erotic side of fantasy romance yes and not like yeah but you know it's not like we read books that are closed door generally but this one is like it's it's very involved in the plot yes. if you are not into having a lot of things discussed like yeah yeah you'll, you'll know pretty quickly if this one isn't for you from yeah. from the language and the things that are referenced yes. yeah yeah especially well from the second book as well from what you've told me as you've gone deeper into it yeah it yeah. progresses quite a lot. This would yeah. be like a good four and a half on the, the hot beverage scale. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we didn't really. Do That's the thing, isn't it? Because we didn't yeah. have that we topic. Can't, we, we, don't, we don't have it. don't really discuss it. Yeah. This, this is the yeah. last one. We can say what we like. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah, so um, we go and we learn about the eligible bachelor in the village whose name is Jedrick, who is kind of, if you know your Beauty and the Beast 
film-esque stuff because I don't think yeah. many people have know, know the book that well. Um, here, it, this is the Gaston character and he is big, he is arrogant, he's brash, he's got wealth, he's got stature and he wants the prettiest girl in the village who happens to be Finlay. Yeah, and she's not interested in that. <clears throat> He has decided to take a wife. Yes. I mean, it is. And it's it is literally you. Gaston going mm -hmm. through, striding through the village. Um, yes. Yeah. And he's just told her that he will have her. He will. Oh, yes. You will be mine. Oh, yes. He's not that bothered. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But but is it though? No, she doesn't want to. No. So, yeah, she kind of, she, she offends him quite a bit, I think, by sort of dismissing him in front of other people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, just... he thinks he's going to like, put pressure on her because he's like we'll have this amazing feast when we'll get married and everyone yeah, will have me everyone will so have all the food. villagers will put this pressure on her and they're like oh that sounds like a good time just marry mm. him finley for yeah, us come on. You know? yeah so he's like, not he's not no. ugly he's not a double bagger yeah. just just don't listen to him this is it it's like um she's different from people anyway because she mm -hmm. like she she does her own thing like her and Hannah and her brother have kind of divvied up the 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 chores, the parental responsibilities in a less gendered way. <laughs> Basically, yes. she does all the hunting and she does like healing type stuff, which is yes. sometimes a bit more. But he's like the homemaker type person. He is the older glue brother. That is. holds them together. Mm -hmm. And, you know, because she, she's a hunter, she doesn't wear dresses and things she like that. She wears the trousers. She wears the trousers. Now. That's it. Mm. She's six foot tall. This is tall girl rep as yeah, yeah. well. She's, she's she's no small one, um, which is just as well. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> in books people will get like the especially because like reading monster romance and stuff, it just gets taller and taller and taller. Oh, <laughs> like, I've got a seven and, and a half so foot in my mind. Yeah, seven and a half foot. I think that was I just read uh, Katie Roberts' Dragon One. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> read it. That's one. Yeah, because she was yeah. like the first demon was like. Oh, he must be at least seven foot. And then the dragon comes in. Oh, yeah. he's even taller. Yeah. Oh, it's oh my yeah. God. You're just at the belly button. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Where were we? Oh, yeah. she goes, she runs off to the library. Oh, yes, yeah, she goes to the library and gets some books out. And then she takes yeah. them to a little tree to have a read. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she's sort of scanning through them. And as you do, sort of a la Alice in Wonderland, she falls asleep. Yeah under yeah. the tree uh, mm. wakes up and there's a there's an ominous presence she can't see it yeah. mm -mm. but it's there she knows it's Something's there, there. Do, do, um, do, so do, she do, legs do, it home do. doesn't mm -hmm. she um sorts out the elixir and stuff for her dad and uh, her brother tells her about their little brother who's been oh he's been having a field. yeah he's been having Two. a moochie in the everlast fields that's it, yeah. Um, he's only 10, I think, he's isn't tiny, he? He's tiny, yeah. Yeah, he's only been doing it in the day, not at night. Night is clearly the more dangerous time, but, you know, Finley's not happy with that. But they've been going, with, he's been going with some friends. Yeah, his to mate's been egging him on, haven't they? <laughs> yeah. Um, and he's been doing it because, you know, he sees what she does and he wants to help and stuff. They, you yeah. know, they don't want to leave it all to the old ones. No. Mm. Mm. But, yeah, then they go to... Um, they go to bed and then they wake up to growling and Growly, smashy, not good. At, yeah. <laughs> and the big Jurassic Park eye. Yeah, the eye <laughs> the at the window. window. But and yeah, so is, she's Yeah. I was gonna say so well, it's a tiny little place. So she shares the, yeah. the bed with her sister and she yeah. kind of wakes up thinking, okay, is this another dream kind of is it yeah, real? Yeah. And then her sister's there like shaking out like, um, this yeah, yeah hey. So she pulls a big girl pants on and she kind of, a, a brother comes in as well and she, they go out into the, the lounge, I want to say. I don't yeah. know what you'd call it. Into the lounge. Yeah. Have a cup of tea. Walk past yeah. the uh, the breakfast bar. Yeah. It's not, yeah. not what you picture, is it, really? No, I'm trying, my brain doesn't know what you would call it. Living room, living room. Yeah. I don't know. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sit on the sofa or the couch. The um, yeah. area. <laughs> So, yeah, she goes and, yeah, there's this big eye at the window mm -hmm. and, yeah, she's got to kind of make her choice as to what's going to happen. And yeah. something flies through the window, the window smashes and mm -hmm. it's her pen knife that she dropped yeah. outside. And, yeah, there for her. Yeah, pretty much. So it's like, OK, where do I do mm -hmm. I stay 
the, the, her little brother's come in now and he's kind of trying to mooch and see what's going on. And then, mm-hmm. yeah, her brother's there, her sister's there, her dad's coughing in the back. And it's, yeah, do I say, do I go? Where, what happens now? Yeah. And, and this is where it becomes another, right? she doesn't get eaten off the toilet, but she does the no. Malcolm this way, this yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> She's like that. Get the flare chase out. Me, chase me, chase me, chase me. And yeah, she legs it out. So he and was he, Away from the, the family yeah. and the village. And yeah, so as with most shifter things, they run through the forest. The trees again are, look, she's over here, she's over here. Yeah. Pick really her, pick not her. helping, really not yeah. helping. And we will discuss in the dialogue these kind of bits because I this is where I howled. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's <laughs> yelling at these things. Yeah. But yeah, so she runs in. I think she gets to the birch tree, doesn't she? She's at, like near the yeah. silver birch, which is waving mm-hmm. its arms and mm-hmm. all seductive Going dancing. Nice. Yeah. Yep. And she smells the smell again. She smells the sexy smell again. And it's like, yeah, it's not incubus. And then this creature, the beast is there. Yeah. And then he's not. Because he's, he's a dude. He's a dude <laughs> with it all hanging out. He's a naked dude. dude. Yeah. yeah. It's quite, it's familiar, like, to our, uh, our very first episode. Very first one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> with old Daki old Kyle. Oh, <laughs> always, always wandering around. But he isn't scaled and things like that he's no. a human that's very scarred very scarred he's not scaled he's scarred yeah, yeah all down his chest all down his back always yeah like you said another seven fur mm-hmm. um and then he gets dirty really quick <laughs> <laughs> well they both seem to be like just drawn to each other yes and um he's like he says he can she needs to get her animal under control because yes. she's been feeling this, like the smells happening, and she's getting all worked up. Yeah, she's leaning but, towards him. Yeah, well, she's he's getting kind this of weight in the chest. Yeah. Sort of thing that, well, know. he's like, you're here and you're trespassing. You can't mm-hmm. trespass. That is then uh, imprisonment for trespassing, yeah. and for mm-hmm. theft, it is death. And she's yeah. like, I'm not doing any of this sort of stuff. But she's kind of as she's chatting, she's getting closer and closer to him. <laughs> yeah. I don't steal nothing. You can't prove anything. I didn't no. do anything. That's and it. yeah, then he tells her off, yeah. and. Yeah. So, and she's like, "Oh, okay, my animal. I wasn't. Yeah. You know, I don't. I'm not in contact with my animal. What's going on?" Um, and he wants to get to the bottom of why her village, because he says it's the only one that steals the Everlast plants. Mm -hmm. Um, why they don't? She won't. She won't admit to anything. Hypothetically speaking, (laughs) she's like, "If if If, it was me, I'd probably be doing it for this reason." Mm -hmm. Blah blah. Yes. Um, and then he tries to compel her. To like, yeah, to tell him and alpha command. She's like, no, no, don't want to no. do that. And then she stabs him. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. First proper enemies to lovers at the beginning of this one. Yeah, it was always Yeah, but it, yeah, it, it was, does... wasn't it? You're like, oh no, you know, it's kind of understandable. But then she's like, no, I'm going to stab him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's with the daggers she got from the blacksmith earlier, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think. yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, the pocket knife, I think, is still on the floor. Yeah, that wouldn't have done much good. Yeah, she that didn't do nothing. Him, and legs it again, and she decides to go into the Everlast field. Like, she picks her way through it carefully to see yeah. if he if he cares so much, he won't yeah. be able to just reward through it. Yeah, the and get her. Comes. And he doesn't, does he? He, like... He, he yeah, he stops, and he's it. like... <laughs> It's that moment she's like picking. They're like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick. He's like, oh, no, oh. don't pick the chance. <laughs> yeah. And um, then they bar to a little bit, don't they? Yeah. I mean, he gets like proper, uh, uh, right, you know, tell me what's happening. Otherwise, I'm gonna kill everybody. You know, everybody that's been in here, people have been stealing yeah. and stuff. And obviously, her mind's going to her family and, you know, her little brother in particular, who's been, yeah, he in says, the field. doesn't he? Yeah. Because yeah. your brother's been here. I know he has. Yeah, exactly. So, he's like right well, you have to pay the the forfeit for them now you've told me that's it you know you you come here and she does and she thinks she's walking to her her death she thinks she's going to be executed and that's like so that's where it's nearly like jurassic park because he turns Eating back into the, the beast and he like and he grabs her and he grabs her but he doesn't eat her yeah no. he whisks her away to his castle yeah just just carries her yep. through in his in- mouth into a <laughs> massive orgy yes yeah oh. I, I liked his move when he gets to the steps 
and he drops her from the dragon mouth and then changes and catches her. Yes. The that's, that's, that's a smooth move, Delicious. that is. Yeah. Um, and so he's back in human form. He's not rampaging through the castle yeah. in, his, in his dragon form. <laughs> there wouldn't be much orgy left happening, would oh. there? Um, yeah, he goes in and, yeah, it's just all sorts happening. Yeah. She's um yeah, we find some of the nobles and where they've gone. And yeah. um uh, I don't yeah, think they're there's... even nobles, are they? It's just all of the people the staff that used to work <laughs> in the castle. I think pretty much all the nobles are dead, aren't they? Is it? I thought there were some still there, and then there was the oh, staff, maybe. and then there were the demons that come in as well. So yeah. the demons come in at night and yeah, rabble rouse and mm. yeah, mm. just get involved in the order. He he wants Hadriel. Um He's, he's called it for him and one of the demons is like you you don't have jurisdiction here at this time like, no, not at I night. cannot I yep. cannot I want Hadriel who comes mm-hmm. along in his fluffy beast costume <laughs> is, it, is he the big purple one again I think oh, he's purple like, again purple, so and yeah. Yeah. purple is the colour for this we started with purple we end with purple and they're both such lovely characters as well to yeah. be fair well this is it see I was going to Barney the first time and when you put the yeah. thing out on Twitter somebody mentioned Tinky Winky and then that's just oh it's much more although it's that's supposed much to look like worse. the beast somehow yes but yeah um, yeah well it's yeah. hooved and horned i don't yeah i don't know where the purple comes from is it i thought the hooves were someone else someone else was being ridden there was a, like a, tra- a there was like a train wasn't there the, the yeah just people attacked but yeah <laughs> the human <laughs> dildo was i don't know one attacks yeah. to, the, to the next into the next so it's human caterpillar isn't it sort yeah of thing. Like, <laughs> weird, the weirdest conga ever yeah um and that that's just business as usual yeah in, that's that's that like a place. that's like a tuesday night imagine a saturday night <laughs> yeah oh dear and he takes so yeah he gets he gets Andrew, who's, who's like completely drunk he's absolutely wanker isn't he? <laughs> yeah and he's like come up to the tower yeah um and like that's where he takes um yeah takes finley to, mm-hmm. to lock her in that's yeah. it she's now being thrown into her prison yes but yeah, yeah, I think that is where we end it. Is that you're happy to leave there? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I could yeah. go into some of the bits that they chat about, and it's kind of, it reminded me of Gremlins if we're talking about films. And he's like, never leave, never do that, never eat after midnight. No. Do not do this. Lock your door. Get a vibrator and just <laughs> yeah. keep your That's door Hadriel. locked. Had real, by the way. Yeah, not, not Nathan. No, no, not <laughs> no, no. Nathan drops them off, and he's just like, you there, stay. Don't yeah. leave. Yeah, he goes. But Hadriel's yeah. like, I'm incredibly drunk. I don't yes. remember what I'm doing. Where's the key? Why are you locked in? Yeah, where's the key? Why are you locked in? Oh, you're a prisoner. Oh, I remember. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. so cool. Definitely. Um, yes. And I think the only thing there is that he, yeah, he mentions about it being like, yeah, can't go out at night. And yes. it's just basically shame fucking for everybody yeah, yeah. they're There's slaves the basically for yeah. 16 years they've been stuck yeah. doing they've this been, every they're night. stuck in time yeah. they were whatever i think he was like 26 when it started but he's not mm. aged no one is it 26 i think it is yeah i didn't yeah. write that down i wrote 16 years but yeah i think he was a mid-20s yes yeah um they're, yeah they're just like stuck at that age and the the demons come out at night mostly they're around during the day too yes. and use their magic on them and it's just yeah it's it's all the all the stuff orgy parties every night yes. but they don't feel great about it the next day they feel no, they pretty empty mm-hmm. <laughs> inside and they've got a magical gag on them as well which means that they can't talk about certain things <laughs> yeah because it like kills yeah. them <laughs> yeah oh like, that was, yeah suffocates and stuff yeah. um nice. yeah so that's it she's prisoner yep in the castle of orgies <laughs> that would be such a nice welcome to the castle of orgies oh, yeah. Yeah. oh this is not one that's in disneyland no all. no <laughs> magic kingdom animal <laughs> kingdom <laughs> orgy land yeah. <laughs> oh, walt poor walt is turning in his grave oh dear yeah we'll be we'll be haunted <sighs> yeah, right could be worse so, cool. we're gonna move on to yeah. action, action. Yes. Okay, okay indeed Action. Okay. Action stations. Yeah. Yeah. 
So it does kick in pretty quick. It's not like a big yeah. fighty, feisty action swashbuckly like the last one. No, I think the action mainly centers around the forest and yes. running through the forest and getting away from creatures, whether it's the beast or demons. Or well, yeah, like it's kind of like the foliage is kind of not great either. Everything that's <laughs> going on with it. It's not just the animals yeah. you've got to watch. The trees are kind of fighting back as well. Yeah, That's another film, isn't it, where the, the trees start to take over and kill people. Can't remember yeah. what that one's called, though. Yeah. yeah, there's one. It was really funny. I laughed the entire way through, which I shouldn't have done because somebody got run over by one of those really massive lawnmowers, those ride-on lawnmowers, <laughs> and they lay down in front of it because the the trees release toxins that makes people want to kill oh, themselves oh i so see the, the oh, trees are fighting back so, no but it's just really really funny i don't mm -hmm. do scary films but i just laugh yeah. the entire i think that's movie. the way i have to deal with scary films is i just have to laugh at them because i'm a big chicken yeah when it comes to it, scary it, stuff it's more just the fact of you go oh the trees <laughs> and <it's, laughs> go on then yeah yeah <laughs> I'll just shake you a bit and get rid of all your leaves and you're dead now. Anyway, yeah, so yeah, the the, the action centers around the forest and a lot of yeah. stuff that goes on there. But yeah, the creatures in there, the actual trees and the bushes and the foliage seems to fight back as well. Yeah, it's it, it's kind of bookended, isn't it? You get that more at the beginning, and then obviously she's a prisoner and she's in the castle. So a lot mm -hmm. more of the stuff centers around why she's there and what's going on in the mm -hmm. castle until the end when there's spoilers so mm. yeah but no spoilers yeah too. yeah and then there's a bit more fighting and stuff she wants to learn to fight better because again i thought it was quite good that she was like well i know how to stab someone yeah i'm very you know, stabby and i can run and i can throw a punch but i'm not great at it i don't know how to use a sword you know she doesn't automatically know just because she's yeah. a badass how to yeah. fight with every type of weapon which is right isn't it yeah it's it like, might yeah 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 just because you know how to shoot a bow and arrow doesn't mean you'd be doesn't able to mean pick you up can... a revolver and be able to use it you know it's like it's quite different my legs it's work i can walk let's drive a car because that's the same yeah, yeah exactly that's it's it just not... I, I liked that that distinction was there um, yeah yeah it actually made it plausible it was good mm. but there's um there's some good bits about the action because even though it's like it, it draws you in and you're like you're right there with her but her eternal monologue is there too yes with stuff yeah, that carries it away but yeah we, yeah we have dialogue which i think was the perfect one to have for this so we there will, will be so much more in that cover cover that yeah in dialogue mm. yeah so is there anything else particularly about action for you no, because as, as you said, it's kind of the four books. So it's kind of, you yeah. can see it kind of getting bigger and better towards the end, which is your clear yeah. to read the next one because you mm -hmm. just have to, in the right yeah. order, obviously, this time. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, that, it's, got, it's got a train. I do, yeah, I do you read right like thing. something that has an actual, like a story thread that goes Imagine through the Imagine coming four. in the third one with yeah. this and going, oh, this is cool. I wonder what's happened. And then having to go to you one. Would, yeah. That would be so funny. That would be crazy. I mean, I guess that happens accidentally sometimes if you see oh, a book just around yeah. and you pick and it you up, grab it. Or like, or you know, like the old days when you didn't even have like Goodreads and all oh. these book communities on the internet, and you just literally walked into a bookshop and you just picked up a book from a shelf, and it's it like you didn't know. <laughs> well, this is it. I did. So the Immortals After Dark, I found that, which is my story from many years ago, I found Dark Sky, which is like book mm. 16. And they oh, are wow. standalones, but in mm -hmm. the same universe. And yeah. then I picked it up, I'm like, wow. And actually, on, you've not read all the way through, have you? You've not? No. Um, I've read book and, one. <laughs> yeah. So definitely not. So yeah, and there's, there's a reason that they're underground in these tunnels. And I'm yeah. just thinking they're there tunneling out. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. There's like the entire world yeah. has been All destroyed and so much has happened in the first 15 books. But see, my argument for that is even though it's like, <laughs> it's really cool. If if the author's able to still tell that story to someone who completely yeah, doesn't know the world no idea. and it just feels like it's a really good world building, then it's all cool. It's, <laughs> yes. I can it. see your point. I will, yes. And then but it, I don't like don't it. Have to read 
the ones with the tropes or the characters that are not <sighs> particularly appealing to me. Oh. Yeah. I'm not going to say what's in my head, <laughs> but no, I can see what you mean. But no, so because it's part of the four book series all around the same characters, I think it is a slow build with it. Yeah. And it's yeah. done quite yeah. well to get all of that stuff in, to not make it feel like it. Let's talk about pace, Jessica, when we're yeah. going to do pace Let's next. Do pace. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Pace. So, yeah. <laughs> As I continue on. So, yeah, the pace doesn't suffer because of it being four books around the same people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it kind of it really does travel really nice and really smoothly. Yeah. Even though you're kind of only getting sort of the first quarter of the entire plot. Yeah. Them. Yeah, I guess so. That's it. I think when I went into I knew. I knew it was going to be a series. I think I read it quite soon after it was released. Yes. So, like, the other books weren't out yet. Um, oh, the waiting. The waiting. Oh, the waiting. But I think we looked it up, didn't we, just before we did this. And the last yes. book is, is going to be out very when, soon. Yeah, when this when comes this out within airs. a week or so of it. Yeah. So don't, don't hate us <laughs> if no. you want to go no. and read it. There's yeah. not a long wait. <laughs> it's fine. But also don't hate us if you've only just found this book and you have to read three before the last one comes <laughs> yeah. out really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good um, thing. Yeah, I mean, I think it's what gets you... There's a lot of information that's given mm -hmm. because of the whole world. You know, it's a, it's a whole world you've got to understand. And there's a lot of different things going on. And it is very much um, like those first few chapters where Finley's moving around and she's getting the Everlast and she's being chased and things, which is like the setup to getting into the, the castle and being, yes, you know, that's... taken prisoner. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of information given in that that she has from that perspective. And then there's more for her to find out. But it's dealt with really well in the opening part of the book because she's got such an engaging voice like mm -hmm. to tell you stuff as she's going around doing things and you know meeting people and seeing what they're like and yeah. you know why they're like that way like when she goes to the library and there's the the librarian there is like oh yeah my other half's doing really well thank you for the elixir I think he's going to make a full recovery and like she knows, Finley knows that's not going to happen. But yeah. Yeah. It's like little things like that that go, you know, pull through what, what it's like living there, you know. Yeah. Um, and with the brothers and sisters and stuff. Um, and then, yeah, then when she gets to the castle, yeah, it it's kind of more discovery the next for level. her. Yeah, more discovery. So, yeah. And, and then there's m more of the pace for their romance as well like the attraction yes. between them which keeps that very you know always makes me turn pages like yeah so fast in a novel it's like well they get they've got very close proximity they're going to be together soon at some point read read read, read, read. when yeah. is it happening when is it yeah. yeah it's quite nice to not have it kind of happen sort of as soon as in like chapter two where it's like this is this bang let's let's have the meet you so yeah well, it's quite the thing it's like they don't she doesn't meet him as a person until no. quite far into the story. But that is true of the pace of Beauty and the Beast at the yeah. end of the day. A lot of it is about the leading and the fact that he they know it as this terrifying thing and not a place to go. So it wouldn't really, you wouldn't get that build up of the tension if she just yeah. strolled in and was like, oh, hi, Beast. Yeah. You know, he's there and yeah. we're going to sit and have a chat about it. You've got to have the build up of what the stakes are. Yeah. Yeah, why are you there? there? Why are you doing this? What's yeah. going on? You, I mean, you he's just totally stumbled there. In. He's just in dragon form, stalking around. Yeah. You know, Stomping killing demons and, and stuff like that. Eating but, yeah. ladies. Yeah. So, no, it's all good. Yeah. Shall we move on to dialogue? dialogue? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see how long this takes us. <laughs> Gaston. Looking right. so down in the dumps. <laughs> so Are we keeping that in? Is that you, you can do if you want section? Okay. I do. I, I, it yeah. is not a musical, just no. so you know. There's no, there's no singing bits in it. No, 
no this isn't the musical season is it that's the next one oh yeah um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I just I I love all my villains but I've got a special place in my heart for LeFou and I don't know why because he's probably LeFou. a right little wordy weemy oh. annoying thing but I do quite like LeFou, LeFou? he's always so I... jolly you've yeah, got to I mean... pull yourself together I know I think that's the thing LeFou's like moved <laughs> why we were doing critical analysis <laughs> of like the Disney beauty in the beast um, but He's like this sad character, isn't he? Because he's just a hero worships this absolute yeah, this turn really... of a person. Yeah, <laughs> and, like... yeah. and Gaston just doesn't give a toss for him, and no. oh, it's such a shame. I think I think they did a nice like twist on that in the in the live action version. Yes, they and did. They changed it. I think they developed that a little bit more. That that yes, thing that was that... there. It's yeah, cool. the attraction there, and and but then, I yeah. couldn't, I couldn't watch it. It just threw me because it was Olaf's voice. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, I've never really seen anything with that actor in before. I just know him. I just knew him from Frozen initially. So, <laughs> so this is the thing. Talking about Book of Mormon, he's he was in that, and the character he plays in that is kind of a really oh, weirdly okay. bumbling dude in it who mm -hmm. kind of comes and saves the day. So I've kind of got that in my head as yeah. well. And he was in um, or Murder on the Orient Express as well. And there's just, his range oh, is epic. Yeah, yeah. But... I've not, yes, I did see that. Yeah, I think, got, got I think that had moved on a bit yes. because I'd got used to it, see, seeing him in other things after Now while, that so. would have been funny, hearing him in that with an Olaf voice. Yeah. Um, dialogue, <laughs> anyway. So dialogue. <laughs> yeah. That, what, yeah. <laughs> If we cut that out, then anybody joining us now will be going, why are they a bit giggly? But it's, we'll yeah, put it in We're somewhere. always a bit giggly, yeah. let's be fair. <laughs> like drunk teenagers. So dialogue. The dialogue is fantastic. If nothing, if even if the story, nothing against the author, but if the story was crap, the dialogue would have still done it for me. Yeah. Because it I was think, just... Yeah, there's like, there's all different levels of it. Yeah. There? There's like, just... Finley's internal monologue, which you can't really class as dialogue no. until later. Yeah, in when it becomes like a bit of a, a, a soap or something. She's kind of introducing everything to like the audience in a way, yeah. but not us, her own audience. And also we're going to give a spoiler alert as well for the later on when her animal becomes more vocal oh and starts trying to yeah get stronger and yeah. she starts because when I read this and I was like oh maybe I should to suggest this one to you because it was like it's like the female alpha basically from Wolf and Gone we Wild no we love an alpha it is. I we think maybe alpha. even filthier <laughs> to be fair <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I think I would have to go back through my notes because I did yeah, more on to, Alpha's we'd notes. Have to, but yeah, I did have a lot of Alpha's notes. I've got, mm. I've got a couple. Like when you have some quotes there. I have no, just one or one or two. <laughs> they're not quotes. They're just lines from a book. Yeah. <laughs> so just if one of the first exchanges she has when her when her animal comes out, I won't tell you what's happened at that point. But they like they go crashing through this bush, and her animal like growls <laughs> like gets mad at the bush and Finley's like it's a bush don't challenge a bush and she's the animal's like you could hold a machete can't you won't be a bush for long that's uh -huh. totally an alpha moment isn't it? it's like yeah I I'll would kill him and do the kill thing. that kill that car kill the that car for coming near near our girlfriend yeah. in Wolf Gone World yeah she's totally like on that same yeah that same, same plane level. of yeah. aggression and sex basically mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah if i can't pump it i'll eat it yes <laughs> if i can't eat it i'll fuck it again <laughs> possibly yeah. <laughs> but yeah i was kind of yeah just her comments to start with and as you said it just takes it up to the next level i just yeah there was some even i wrote things down for this so yeah. you know it's got to be good go on then what's some of your ones then okay so i wrote i think she was talking to her brother and he's mm -hmm. like the beast will chomp hard and she's like yeah, yeah is, is a soft chomp any <laughs> better <laughs> i've got another one from when she was talking to him about it too and it was like if you see the beast get out of there if i see the beast i'll probably piss myself and he's yes. like fine but do it as you're running <laughs> yeah there were just so many of them yeah and she the one about super starky to people yeah. it's just yeah. brilliant so this is when I've written down about Devious Rita. 
Like she's like okay. talking about somebody being spit roasted, and she's like, "Was well, she having a good time?" She's like, "Well, till yeah. it got near her eyes," and the blacksmith's like, "Just, just don't, stop. just stop, stop. whoa, yeah, oh, so mm, many." Yeah. And yet, was he checking out my birthing hips? <laughs> As they're all naked, was he looking at my my birthing hips? Yeah. Oh, so oh that and when um, Jedrick comes to to like propose to her, it was just speaking of the Disney film as well. She says to him, "Go pedal your shit somewhere else. This pail is full to the brim." And I just, I had this moment of. I just love to picture like an animation of Belle saying the lines that she says. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like if you can find that on the internet, <laughs> there's someone really clever out there. Oh, with her lovely editing. subbed voice. Yeah, yeah. If Emma Watson would be fine too. <gasps> you know, whichever. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Miss Watson. Since you're not working for UNICEF today, do you want yeah. to read any yeah. for us? <laughs> She's a very feminist character, it's fine. Yes, she very much is. <laughs> yeah. But it's not just them. If you go to Hadriel, and oh, he is fantastic. Yeah. And I can't I remember what the me. maid's name was, but when she came in, yeah. came in, comes in, and then the banter between those two, it is just, every person is just, just a standout. Just like, I've just got little, like, things that he said, like, goddess spread on a cracker. Like, what's that? <laughs> Why would that be? And... Um, May his dick rot off and fall into a grinder when he's talking about the Demon King. <laughs> oh, oh. I wish I had these sort of comebacks in real life. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? And when he's talking about, like, letting her into the tower and her getting herself cleaned up and dressed and stuff, and he says to her, wear a civilised outfit here, and then there's, like, this pause, and he's like, I realised that comment would have gone over a lot better had I not been wearing a purple beast costume with my cock hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> it's, <funny. laughs> it's so funny. It's it very is. good. Yes. Hadriel was a very cool... Yes, character. just the side character that you want to hear so much yeah. more about. He's yeah, he's awesome. really, like, he's helpful. He's, like, someone... And, and her maid as well, who, again, I've not written the name. No, I didn't write it because we stopped before she really kicked in. Yeah, that's it. She was just coming into it. But they're just yeah. lovely and welcoming and to Finley but yeah. also um they give a lot of useful information yeah good advice always, like quite fighting their own battles and demons and things yeah. that they're having like literally and you know psychologically so, well yeah Hadriel's like the third butler because if thing you know as you said if things get said or something goes off yeah. Then they kind of their throat closes up and they die. So he kind of tries to stay as inconspicuous as he can, That's even it. though in purple yeah. and yeah, to not do the best of jobs yeah. and not to stand out and yeah, that was it. You know, not not to be too attractive, not to be yeah. too uh, like skilled at whatever you do. Just yeah, because just it draws mediocre attention to you. Yeah, we should probably move on to villains. Yeah, to to the villains think, next. Yes, because that's yes. touching on that a bit, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yes. Yeah. You ready? Bad guys. Bad guys. Ah. Yeah, so villains. Villains. Love a bad guy. We should yeah. love a bad guy. I love a bad guy. Yeah. So, what did you get for villains? Because, like, okay. the big, big bad. Yeah. Is well, kind okay. Of not so, really there, is he? This is like a wedding cake for the tears in this for me. Okay. Yeah. yeah so you I'm kind picturing of got... a black eye thing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Weirdly, my wedding cake had blue spots on it. Anyway. Oh, cool. Body cake. <laughs> um, yeah, no goths, no demons, no yeah. red inside. Mr. <gasps> Trick. Yeah. Anyway. That one like in the blank space video with Taylor Swift. Have you seen that video when she no. sticks her knife in the cake and it just is it like Brushes. bleeds? Yeah, yeah, brilliant. It's good. Uh, <laughs> I've not, I might go and watch it now. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, what was I going to say? Yeah, so, you know, your initial, when you start reading, it's like the beast, bad guy, obviously. Yeah. Haunting the forest, blah, 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 chasing yeah. her, stealing her yeah. away. There you go. Exactly. But it kind of isn't. He's not great, mm -hmm. but he's, it's like um, Hook in the last one. You know, he's a villain, but yeah. is he though? And then yeah. you've got... I mean, I have to say, I did think he did act like a proper dick. He right was a big old beginning. dickhead, but... Yeah, I mean, like when he's threatening to kill the whole village about the everlast plots i mean 
when you read on, you're like, okay, yeah. he's probably just saying that. He probably yeah. wasn't intending it. But from the first initial perspective, you're like, oh, okay. But yeah. yeah. Oh, you're not going. Why, why would you do that? Just well, it was so weird because it was kind of tinged with, do you want to take my clothes off and suck my dick sort of yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's no, he was already naked, so that doesn't make much sense. But yeah, <laughs> you love me though, don't you? <laughs> Take my yeah. dragon skin off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then stuff it. Um, so yeah, you've got the beast, you've got Nathan at that level, but you've obviously got Jarek, who is the Gaston kind of figure. And he's yeah. obviously not great because you can see mm. the tension boiling over there when yeah. she turns him away. And you can just, you can imagine the, the veins that's like the a neck. seed sown, isn't it? Yes. For later. Mm -hmm. So there's that one. And there's obviously the Demon King yeah so who has done all this stuff who is you know has, has ruined everybody's lives yeah in this just, kingdom he's pissed on the bonfire and, and he's not even on the around no. <laughs> so, but they have this threat that he'll come back they worry yes it's he'll always he'll hanging there. over isn't it with the curses mm. there and yeah. the one in the village and the different bits and pieces in the castle and the demons are there yeah so you know it's never yeah. far away i don't know with the demons they're like I mean, they're villains too, because they're mm -hmm. taking advantage of people and, you know, trying to get people to do stuff they don't want to. Um, but in a way, I think it is very clear that they're quite minion-y. I think Finley deals with them so well. So, you know, oh. can picture in the little minions. <laughs> oh, now, yeah. you? <laughs> in purple things with the cocks out. <laughs> there is a purple minion, isn't there? Oh, is there? I know there's Doug Grease. <laughs> definitely be one. There were purple minions in the yeah. second film. They take like a serum or something and it makes them go a bit crazy. Oh, oh right. <laughs> I don't remember that one. Um, yeah. Oh. But yeah, she deals with them. She's got them like exactly. She, she knows not to take any of this shit. And she's yeah. been able to create a potion to help her not oh yeah she's got bits hasn't she yeah 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 she's got a whole repertoire yeah like a scent things. dulling one and all yeah, sorts of bits yeah, yeah. i remember help her out. Mm -hmm. yeah so so it's yeah various levels for me yeah mm -hmm. definitely and, and that's that's about it that's what yeah. i've got as well yeah yeah i was gonna say yeah it kind of again because there's your first quarter snippet you can't mm -hmm. pull everybody in no. and know who is going to be the biggest, everything. baddest, worst. Yeah. yeah. So it's quite obvious that Nathan isn't as bad as you first expect, but yeah. we don't know what's going to go on with Jerick and we definitely don't know what's going to go on with the Demon King. So yeah. there's there's big, there's a massive umbrella of evil. I know a little bit because I yeah. read the second book. Yeah, you've done the second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, there's they so much available. going on that it could be. Yes, go mm. read them all. Yeah. So... That's, that's it. Yeah, then, isn't it? That's, that's, yeah, that's his Alice, yeah. There is no more. Up. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I, I even wrote it. Next week's book is nothing. There isn't one. Well, there will be one. I will read one. There will be many, many yeah. books. Come tell us all the other books. That yes, you're come and speak to us. Yeah. Come and it. find us on all the places. The, the yeah. YouTube, the TikTok, the... Not Facebook, we don't do Facebook. Uh, mm. The Instagram, and Twitter, the Twitter, all of those ones. SFF, SFF Romcast. That's it. Yeah, come and mm -hmm. tell us what did you did you like the new format of this season? Yes. Shall we shall we keep it up? I like it. I've always... I know this is Beanie Will. Yeah, apart yeah. from the one failing, but the we had failing. we had we had a very cool hand. mug. Yeah, and super hand that was brilliant. Yeah, super hand of awesome. Yeah, yeah. and. That's it. Um, I think we've been discussing the possibility of coming back more, for a summertime more. special. Mm -hmm. yeah, we'll let you know about that when we get yes. closer to the time. Yeah. So keep an eye on all of the social places. And yeah. even if we, we, we if we was past, come and find us. We're quite nice. Mm -hmm. Come and say hi if we don't mind. Yeah. We, love we like to talk. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Thank you. And cool. we will see you again. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. In the summer. Hopefully. In the summer. Mm -hmm keep you updated indeed be yeah. good people have Bye. a lovely one